Snest Drunk. Welcome back to Snest Drunk Plays uh, uh, Magic Sword, and that sound really threw me off there. Should actually probably consider paying attention to actually playing the game and stuff. <laughs> ah, picture of milk in the middle of my sword and sorcery adventure. Enter the requisite, uh, requisite, uh, milk was a bad choice joke. It was kind of you to gome. My sons are hungry. And is that an N? Now I won't have to hunt for them? Okay. What is that thing in the background? Oh, that's what it is. Is this going to be another boss fight I can just skip? So, so ridiculous. I guess every game is is supposed uh, of this era is supposed to have like a worm, like thing. Oh, that was terrible. Is there stuff in here? No, of course not. That would be helpful. Yep, looks like it is another game over, and looks like this is another skip this boss fight and pretend. Let's pretend we beat him. Kind of a thing. <laughs> So this would be, uh, yeah, 26. I was well past uh, 22, I think. I think. <laughs> I hope he says something about beating the boss. That would be funny. Um, anyway, yeah, Japan. Japan was a lot of fun. Um, I think I've said everything I, I, I was going to say about Japan. I can't remember anything else. Oh, yeah, one comical thing about Japan is that there are uh, cigarette vending machines on every single block. Literally every single block. There's like 10 different kinds of vending machines. There's juice, there's soda, there's um, cigarettes, especially cigarettes. Oh, my God, the cigarettes. Um, to be fair, though, the cigarettes there are so much lighter and so much more pleasant to smoke. Um, God, even their lucky strikes over there were like, "Hey, this is kind of, kind of nice." Um, because when you when you smoke cigarettes in America, like even like parliaments and like Marlboro Lights, it's like, Ugh! it's like, Jesus, the amount of shit in these, and they smell horrible. Um, God, is this just a never-ending thing? Jesus Christ. Um, God, there's more over here. Yeah, it is a never-ending thing. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, the cigarettes over there are much more pleasant. The fast food over there. Um, I, our hostel was right by a place called Freshness Burger. It's just, I, I was like, I love that name. I need to have a burger here. And it was actually, like, the serving size was perfect. It wasn't, like, this giant atrocity. And I didn't feel like complete shit after eating it like hey imagine that this is actually pretty good and um yeah i i would go there um if i was ever uh too lazy to go to the at or uh too lazy to um not the atm what am i trying to say i guess yeah to, to the bank or whatever um I, I would just go to freshness burger and eat there and get a get a burger and a mango shake and it was good it was surprisingly good um, but yeah, there's all sorts of like rom like mom and pop ramen shops there. You walk in and it smells just incredible. Um, there's nothing but uh, like steam filling up the place, and it's just awesome. And of course, there's lots of like advertisements that that try and uh, do say something in English, and it's just. I remember one where there was one for Coke. There was a billboard by the train station that said, WILD HEALTH! In a picture of a girl. It's like, yes, okay. Wild. My health is wild. I am wild about health. Uh, anyway. I think I've said all that I, I can say about Japan. It was, it was really fun. Um, it's probably really way too expensive to go now. Oh, and I guess I should address the obvious. Um, yeah, I did get... Um, since I had to leave... Uh, before before we, we could find any uh, any place um, that sold <laughs> old video games, um, any retro shops, I, I can't stress enough how hard it is to find anything in Japan. It is really hard to track anything down. Um, God damn it! Ugh, jeez, am I gonna die here? Yes. 
All right. Um, the uh, I, I my friends stayed longer than I did. I went home by myself. Um, so I left money for him if he ever found um, certain games, and I ended up, he ended up getting uh, for me, which I appreciate very much. He got uh, Chrono Trigger, uh, Earthbound, or Mother Two, uh, Rockman X, and Rockman X Two. So uh, shout out to the Jesus for that. That those um, are complete in the box and um, are compatible with the Retron Five, which uh, that's a whole topic altogether. The Retron Five. I'm almost afraid to talk about the Retron Five because they stole the, the people that create. It's basically an emulator box, but it works very well for what I do. It works great. For, I'm using it right now for this Let's Play. Um, it works great for footage. It works. Um, it's it produces um, manageable file sizes along with my uh, Elgato HD capture thingy. Um, but they used emulators for SNES 9X without the creator's permission, and they're making a profit off of that. And that's not right at all. So, on principle, do not buy. I think they actually stopped selling them for Retron 5. Um, uh, the thing is, though, is it's one of those things where it's like this is this this emulator box is extremely useful. Um, I did not buy the Retron Five um, from the company. I can at least <laughs> feel decent about that. I bought it from a um, a person, uh, the other moderator at the Super Nintendo subreddit, uh, sold it to me. So um, what was that? Can I just leave? I don't have to fight this thing. I can just leave. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> Don't be be co coiled. What? Anyway, yeah, that's that's a whole other topic in and of itself. It's like a moral dilemma. Like, do I keep using this even though these guys stole um the emulators they're using and um, are making a profit off of it? Although I think they've eventually. I don't think it's for sale anymore. Um, from directly from the company. God damn it. Um, so yeah, it's it's hard to say. It works well. I, it, it is a, a nice piece of... It's a nice emulator box. It does work well. Vanquished Warriors drop their weapons here. Well, that's nice. <sighs> Getting kind of burnt out on this game. I think this might... Yeah. <laughs> on cue. Um... Next game over, I think I'm done. I do appreciate that every level does look different um, to a certain extent. Um, you know, there, there's this game is obviously very simple, and you just kind of side scroll in your way over to to climb this tower. But I mean, the color scheme and the the designs and the enemies and your companions, they all look nice. Uh, it's just the slowdown, the jumping is ridiculous. I think by the time, um, I already did a, produced a uh, review of this game and um, it, it paired alongside the other Sword and Sorcery Super Nintendo games, um, like Knights of the Round and uh, King of Dragons. But uh, I'm doing this Let's Play after the fact, after I did that video. Yeah, I have this bad habit of working way, 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 way ahead. Like, I'm recording this in the middle of May, and this won't post until, like, late July, I think, or middle of July. I don't know. I don't know why I work that way. I just... It, it's... <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. I can't do anything. I can't attack. Oh, there we go. I got moogled. I didn't realize you could get moogled in this game. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think, um, what am I doing next? Yeah, I, I did Secret of Mana for the Racket Boy thing. Doing, uh, King of Dr or, uh, what is this game? <laughs> Magic Sword. Um, what's next on my list for Let's Plays? I guess I could always do Chrono Trigger, but I, I don't want to do another RPG alongside, uh, oh, there we go. One continue left. There's, um... Chrono Trigger, there's my, some of my favorite games. I could always do Earthbound. God, there's there's really not that many Let's Plays of Earthbound. At least um, there's Chugga Conroy's, but um, I didn't notice very many others. Uh, what else could I do? I've done Mega Band. 
I've done a lot of. I've done. I've gotten a Capcom fix so far. I guess we could do. Um, I could have my girlfriend over, and we can do uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Uh, she's really busy all the time, though, and I am too. I'm busy playing video games and <laughs> working on on stuff. Now I work full time now. Um, I don't know if I ever actually said that on a video, but I work um, at a uh, certain school for admissions, so that's been nice. Uh, it's nice to have a routine again. It was very, very. It's it's dangerous for somebody like me to not have a routine of some kind uh, because uh, with too much free time I tend to go a little crazy uh, with uh, the old uh, alky hall yeah it ain't an accident that I'm called SNES drunk actually to be uh, to be perfectly honest the, the, the way I came up with SNES drunk was not necessarily because um, oh I think you're supposed to leave those um, it's not necessarily any have anything to do with me drinking. Um, it, it's it's because um, of the running gag that when you say the word SNES, it sounds like you're drunk. It's impossible to say SNES without sounding drunk. Hence SNES drunk. So that's that was kind of the you know I needed to come up with a name some kind. To be, <laughs> one idea I played around with was SNES dog, <laughs> and just have my dog <laughs> be the person like on camera and stuff like that and that's only because i hate being on camera i'm never ever going to be one of those people that puts themselves that puts pictures of their faces in the in the thumbnails or anything like that i just think that's tacky i'm sorry if you're one of those people that does it cool good for you i i just can't stand looking at a picture of myself on every single one of my videos that would just mortify me and it's not even a self-deprecation or like self-loathing kind of a thing. It's just like this is like I look stupid. <laughs> it's just ugh, it's just dumb. Um, hey, another one of those guys. Can I? <laughs> this twin brother. Um, am I coming up to a boss fight here or what? It's, it's been a while. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm well over ten minutes. I'm just gonna keep going to the next game over. I I have one life. One life to live. Two seconds to live. What would you do if you told me I had two more seconds, seconds to live? Getting kind of bored with this game, not going to lie. Uh, a little burnt out. God, what have I talked about in this episode? I talked a little bit about Japan. I talked a little bit about the Retron 5. I talked a little bit about SNES Drunk, the name. Gil, gills my soul. There you go. Ah, a fairy. This should be helpful. Thank you. Oh, and, and next games we should play. We? Who's we? Me and my friend in my pocket here. Ah, here we go. Here's a boss fight. Wow, that's a cool looking background. Looks like a Royal Albert Hall. K Civ me power. Release the Hydra from the shadow world. Gotcha. I'll get right on that. With our powers combined, we become a dragon that's the same dragon, but a different color. A repurposed sprite, I believe that's uh, called. Yeah, this game's not the greatest. There's a reason it's, it's still only uh, a few bucks on eBay. Actually, I think now with every Super Nintendo game going batshit crazy with cost, I think it's probably more like $10 now. Which is just sad. This boss fight sucks. <laughs> uh, see if there's anything over here. I wonder what that thing does. If it were Castlevania, that would grant me invincibility. Let's just sit here and hack on this guy for a while. Oh, he takes two and a half off for damage. Let's jump and no, let's just die an honorable death here. And there we go for game over. I think we're gonna call it quits with this game. I'm a quitter. But, uh... Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, you can only go up to uh, 32. I think I was past that. Anyway, thanks for watching Magic Sword. Have a great rest of your day.